Hello plant people, it's Nora the Lekker Queen. Thank you for joining me. Today I am going to be showing you how I make a moss pole with my wire mesh for a syngonium. So I've got my two syngoniums here. I've got my syngonium panda that I've had for a while living in Lekka and I've got my syngonium panda that I recently acquired that's been going through the long method of soil to Lekka transition. So I will show you how to make a moss pole for a syngonium. So as you can see, this wire mesh is quite small. So syngoniums don't need a big moss pole. A little one will do and I will show you how I do all that and I will show you how I put up my moss pole as well. So stick around for a few tips and tricks and let's get this show on the road. For today's demonstration of how to make a moss pole, I am going to make it very specific. I am going to measure out how much mesh you need, how much moss you need and try and give you specifics for those who are really looking for specifics. I hope it translates because of course, the moss that you might get is a little bit different. The mesh that you might get is a little bit different, but I will try and I'll, sh I'll give you what I've got and then you can try and translate that into your own situation. So in order to do this, we're going to need a few things. We're going to need wire mesh, of course. We are going to need some moist sphagnum moss and we are also going to need some cable ties because you know I would be lost without my cable ties. So I'll bring you down and we will get started. This is wire mesh that I cut up earlier and it is, I've got my ruler here to help me. That is 40, that is 45 centimeters long. So the length of that is 45 centimeters. I'll give you what the width is. The width is about 14 and a half centimeters. So length 45 width 14. I am going to get my pot. This is my grower's pot that I want my plant to go in and I will measure how much of that moss pole is going to be in the pot. So that is that. So I'll just get my ruler and that is about 13 centimeters. 13 centimeters of this wire mesh will be lying within the pot. So I'll put my cable tie here as a marker just to make it easier so I don't have to keep doing the measurements when I'm making the moss pole. And I'll just make a little cylindrical shape for my pole there to make it easier to make. I now grab my sphagnum moss and I am filling my wire mesh. So you're not, you know, packing that moss in. It's just filling it ever so lightly, not too much. So I've got that there and see, this is where I've got my marker. So I don't want to put any moss over there because that's the part of the moss pole that will be held within the pot. So just fill that up a little bit and that's, that's looking good. That is, I think that is all the moss that I'm going to need for this moss pole. Now, in order for me to tell you how much I've used, I've got my scales here. I've got a little pot there and I'll just turn on my scales. And that is at zero and I will put this moss in there. So give or take a few grams, right? So that is 166 grams. So I am using 166 grams to fill this size of wire mesh. So I'll get rid of that and put my moss back in my wire mesh. So again, it's give or take, you know, I mean, it's very hard to be very specific with these things, but that's what I'm going to do. And I will now close off my wire mesh using my cable ties. So that's looking good. And I will just overlap this by one box, like so. 
overlap. So there's one, this box and this box there are overlapping and that's how I'm going to secure that. That's there. I like to start from the top because then it just makes it easier to align everything and have it looking good. This is where I've got my cable tie and note how I don't have any sphagnum moss going there. So I'll use my ruler to just push that moss that's come through over there. And I will then pinch the two sides off the wire mesh like that. And that prevents the moss that's on this side going down to the bottom. Very, very simple. Okay. And that right there is my tiny, tiny moss pole. So I'll just clip off these little bits of cable tie. Okay, now that gives you a moss pole with a diameter of about, oh, hang on, four and a half centimeters. So the diameter of this moss pole is four and a half centimeters there. And that's my little moss pole. I'm gonna clean this up and we're gonna go on with our repotting. My surface is now clean and I am going to grab my little moss pole, put it over if you want actually. You know, these ends of the cable ties that are sticking out, they do get quite sharp. It's better to just flick them over so they're inside the, the moss. So when you're handling your moss pole, you're not likely to get hurt, but also it's not going to damage your leaves. So when you do that, you don't have the sharp bits hurting you over there. So I turn that over and I'll now grab my plants. This is my little plant that's been living in Lekha. I need to get the plant out of this and attach it to my moss pole. I've got my little plant here that was living in Lekha. It's not necessary to remove all the Lekha from the roots, you might just end up damaging them. So it's fine if there are bits that are left hanging about, that's absolutely fine. So I'm gonna attach this plant to my moss pole before I pot it up. This is my plant that's been living in my special source. It's a lot bigger than my little one, but I wanna show you, look at those roots. There's so many water roots that have sprouted, pretty much all those white roots over there, like that one, that one over there, that one, all those, this bit here, this is a new root that has formed while it's been living in the special source. So this plant is going to do very, very well. So what I want to do is attach these two plants to my moss pole, and I'm going to attach the plants about where the moss is. So just at that level over there, I've got my Velcro plant ties to help me get the plants to stay. And that one goes like so. That's the first plant there. Attached to the moss pole, roots away from the sphagnum moss because I don't want those roots getting root rot from the moist moss. Get my next Velcro plant tie and I get my other plant and that goes there as well. I'm gonna secure that. So very, just very gently tying the plant to the moss pole. You don't want to end up damaging the leaves with this process because that is not what we want at all. And it can be a little bit fiddly, so being patient really, really helps. This is my Syngonium panda that is now living on a moss pole. Now, 
I know you might be thinking this moss pole is pretty small, but this syngonium is only attached to the moss pole right at the bottom. It hasn't yet gotten enough area roots. It hasn't yet vined to a level where it needs to be so big, which is why it's nice to just have a little moss pole for a syngonium. There's no need to go overboard and you don't want to overpower the look of those gorgeous leaves with the moss pole. So that's what that looks like. I am now going to put it in my grower's pot. Got my 14 centimeter pot here. I'll put a little bit of Lekka in there just to get things going. So that's about a third and I'm just gonna swoosh that there. If you wanted, you could actually put Lekka in there, but I don't normally do that because unless you've got really big balls of lecker they do tend to fall out so most of the time i just i'll just close that off and flatten that out and that ends up looking like that and it's then easy to have this surface so if you just give that a little curve this will lie nicely against the pot the pot so i'll do that just to shake that to make sure that that is going right to the bottom and that's how that will stay. So that's my pot there and my roots are over there. And all I'm going to do now is fill this pot with lecker. That's looking pretty good. Remember to shake the pot just to help the lecker settle. And when the lecker settles, you'll find that you've got additional room. Now you've got that little space at the back there, making sure to put Lekka to go in there as well, because that's what also helps anchor the moss pole so there's minimal movement. Okay, that's done. That is my Syngonium Panda. What a difference that makes. Remember what the plants looked like when there were two small plants? And now look at what she looks like living on a moss pole as a lovely big bushy plant. I cannot wait to get this plant going. It's going to be absolutely stunning. So just keeping the moss pole moist and keeping the plant in a nice bright spot, that'll keep it looking glorious. I'll put this pot in a cash pot with growth technology Clonix clone solution for about two weeks. And that's only so the plant that's been going through the long method can have a happy transition from water to lecker. And then after two weeks, I'll put it back in growth technology foliage focus. And that's my Syngonium Panda. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Thank you, goodbye.